These are drugs of last resort. There are many alternatives to these drugs, and the adverse event profile of these drugs is so significant that you don't want to use them unless they're a last resort. The other, and I say that it's caused by Big Pharma and the FDA not protecting the public because of who's well, been... What is caused by it? Doctors, the, the, in, the increase doctors in use prescribing in the, it? Yes. Yeah. And what, what else has been caused by it is very important to understand that these, by, this bipolar, the definition of bipolar has also been tampered with by Big Pharma. The definition of bipolar, how doctors and what doctors diagnose it, it may, most of those diagnoses, I will bet you, were never made by psychiatrists. Those are diagnoses which are being made by general practitioners uh, who, with, medic, with the uh, HMOs and things going on, who barely see a patient. They make a diagnosis. And then the only time you're supposed to use these drugs in bipolar is for short-term use no more than 12 weeks. And in children, that is even less uh, time than they're supposed to be used. And once you diagnose a child with bipolar, and it isn't a serious form of bipolar, not bipolar one, and you throw these drugs on them as Dr. Krasuski's patient, 17-year-old, for three years, they are subject to such horrendous uh, bad effects that it is something that should not be permitted.